power of sleep, health, performance, and well-being. Sleep is a vital function that is essential for our physical and mental health. It's a state where our body and brain are active but in a different way than when we're awake. Here are some key things to know about sleep. What it is, sleep is a period of rest where your body and brain are active in different ways than when you're awake. It's crucial for physical and mental health. Importance, sleep is just as important as food and water for survival. It allows our bodies to repair themselves, consolidate memories, and regulate hormones. Stages, sleep cycles through different stages, including non-REM, deep sleep, and REM, dream sleep. These stages are important for different bodily functions. Non-REM, N-R-E-M, sleep, this has three further stages, N-R-E-M 1, 2, and 3, increasing in depth. N-R-E-M sleep allows your body to restore itself physically. REM, rapid eye movement, sleep, this is when dreaming occurs. REM sleep is important for memory consolidation and brain development. Throughout the night, you cycle between these stages multiple times. How much we need, the amount of sleep we need varies by age. Newborns, 14 to 17 hours. Infants, 12 to 16 hours. Children, 1 to 5 years 10 to 14 hours. School-aged children, 9 to 12 hours. Teenagers, 8 to 10 hours. Adults, 7 to 9 hours. Older adults, varies, often less sleep. Importance, sleep is essential for physical repair and growth. Memory consolidation. Learning and cognitive function. Emotional well-being. Immune system function. Healthy sleep habits. Consistent sleep schedule, even on weekends. Relaxing bedtime routine. Dark, quiet, cool bedroom environment. Limit screen time before bed. Regular exercise, but not too close to bedtime. There are many things you can do to improve your sleep habits, like creating a relaxing bedtime routine, keeping a consistent sleep schedule, and making sure your bedroom is dark, quiet, and cool. Types of sleep There are two main types of sleep, non-REM, N-R-E-M, and REM sleep. These stages are important for different bodily functions. One non-REM, N-R-E-M, sleep is further divided into three stages, N-R-E-M 1, 2, and 3, with each stage progressively leading to deeper sleep. N-R-E-M 1, this is the lightest stage of sleep. You can be easily awakened during this stage. Brain waves slow down slightly from wakefulness. Your eyes may dart from side to side. Muscles begin to relax. N-R-E-M 2, this is a stage of light sleep. Brain waves slow down even more. Eye movement stops. Heart rate and breathing slow down. Muscle activity decreases further. N-R-E-M 3, this is the deepest stage of sleep. Brain waves are very slow with occasional bursts of activity. Muscle activity is minimal. It is difficult to wake someone from this stage. 2 REM, rapid eye movement, sleep is the stage of sleep when most dreaming occurs. It is characterized by rapid eye movements. Increased brain activity, similar to wakefulness. Muscle paralysis, except for the eyes and diaphragm. Sleep cycles throughout the night, alternating between NREM and REM sleep stages. A typical sleep cycle lasts about 90 minutes. Adults typically go through 4 to 6 sleep cycles each night. The first REM sleep stage is usually the shortest, and REM stages become progressively longer throughout the night. The sleep biological clock, also known as the circadian rhythm, is the internal system that regulates your sleep-wake cycle over a 24-hour period. It's like a master conductor in your brain that orchestrates when you feel sleepy and when you feel alert. Here's a breakdown of how it works. Location, the mastermind behind your circadian rhythm is a tiny group of nerve cells called the suprachiasmatic nucleus, SCN, located deep within your brain. Light sensitivity, 
the SCN is highly sensitive to light. When your eyes detect light, especially sunlight in the morning, the SCN sends signals throughout your body to suppress the production of melatonin, a hormone that makes you feel sleepy. As daylight fades in the evening, the SCN reduces its stimulation, allowing melatonin production to rise and signaling drowsiness. External cues, while light is the primary cue for the SCN, other factors can also influence your circadian rhythm, such as sleep schedule, going to bed and waking up at consistent times helps to regulate your SCN. Exercise, regular physical activity can promote better sleep, but avoid strenuous workouts too close to bedtime as they can be stimulating. Diet, eating a healthy diet and avoiding heavy meals before bed can contribute to better sleep. Disruptions, several things can disrupt your circadian rhythm, leading to sleep problems. Jet lag, traveling across time zones throws off your SCN's light-dark cycle. Shift work, working irregular hours can confuse your internal clock. Screen time before bed, the blue light emitted by electronic devices can suppress melatonin production. Tips for a healthy sleep-wake cycle. Light exposure, get plenty of sunlight during the day and minimize bright light exposure in the evening. Consistent sleep schedule, go to bed and wake up at the same time each day, even on weekends. Relaxing bedtime routine, wind down before bed with calming activities like reading or taking a warm bath. Create a sleep-conducive environment, make sure your bedroom is dark, quiet, cool, and clutter-free. By understanding your sleep biological clock and practicing good sleep hygiene, you can promote better sleep quality and improve your overall health and well-being. Exposure to light plays a critical role in regulating our sleep-wake cycle through our circadian rhythm. Here's a breakdown of how light affects sleep. Light and the SCN the suprachiasmatic nucleus, SCN, the master control for our sleep-wake cycle, is highly responsive to light. Light exposure, particularly sunlight in the morning, suppresses melatonin production. Melatonin is a hormone that signals sleepiness, so when it's suppressed, we feel more alert. Benefits of daytime light exposure. Promotes alertness and wakefulness. Regulates sleep-wake cycle. Improves mood and cognitive function. May help with seasonal affective disorder, SAD. Nighttime light exposure. Suppresses melatonin production, making it harder to fall asleep and stay asleep. Disrupts circadian rhythm. Can lead to daytime fatigue and decreased alertness. Tips for healthy light exposure. Maximize sunlight exposure in the morning, Aim for at least 30 minutes of bright sunlight soon after waking up. Minimize blue light exposure at night, avoid screens like phones, laptops, and TVs for at least an hour before bed. Consider using blue light filters or dimming settings on devices. Dim your lights in the evening, create a calming environment that promotes sleepiness by dimming lights or using warm-toned bulbs in the hours leading up to bedtime. Additional Factors Light intensity, brighter light has a stronger suppressive effect on melatonin than dim light. Duration of exposure, the longer you're exposed to light, the greater the impact on melatonin production. Individual variations, some people may be more sensitive to the effects of light on sleep than others. By understanding how light exposure affects your sleep, you can make adjustments to your daily routine to optimize your sleep-wake cycle and promote better sleep quality. Kids sleep needs vary greatly depending on their age. Here's a breakdown of recommended sleep durations and tips for healthy sleep habits at different stages. Newborns, 0 to 3 months. Sleep needs, 14 to 17 hours per day, including naps. Newborns don't have a set sleep schedule yet and may sleep in short bursts around the clock. Tips, establish a calming bedtime routine, even at this early stage. Respond to their cues for hunger or fussiness, but try to create a predictable pattern for sleep. Infants, 4 to 12 months. Sleep needs, 12 to 16 hours per day, including naps. By 4 months, most babies need 3 naps a day, 
transitioning to two longer naps, morning and afternoon, between 6 to 12 months. Tips, maintain a consistent sleep schedule as much as possible, including nap times. Create a relaxing bedtime routine that signals sleep time. Toddlers, 1 to 2 years. Sleep needs, 11 to 14 hours per day, including naps. Many toddlers will still need one nap a day, but some may transition away from naps altogether. Tips, be consistent with bedtime routines and nap schedules. Address sleep problems like night terrors or separation anxiety patiently. Preschoolers, 3 to 5 years. Sleep needs, 10 to 13 hours per day, naps may or may not be needed. If they do nap, keep it short, around 1 to 2 hours, to avoid nighttime sleep disruption. Tips, develop a relaxing bedtime routine that incorporates calming activities like taking a bath or reading a book. Limit screen time before bed. School-aged children, 6 to 13 years. Sleep needs, 9 to 12 hours per day. Most children this age will no longer need naps. Tips, encourage a consistent sleep schedule, even on weekends. Establish screen-free time before bed to promote relaxation. Make sure their sleep environment is dark, quiet, and cool. General tips for healthy sleep in kids. Set a consistent sleep schedule, go to bed and wake up at similar times each day, even on weekends. Relaxing bedtime routine, wind down before bed with calming activities like taking a bath, reading a book, or listening to calming music. Limit screen time before bed, the blue light emitted by electronic devices can suppress melatonin production, making it harder to fall asleep. Create a sleep-conducive environment, make sure the bedroom is dark, quiet, cool, and free from clutter. Address sleep problems early, if your child has consistent sleep issues, consult a pediatrician to rule out any underlying medical conditions. Remember, every child is different, and these are general recommendations. It's important to be patient and consistent with sleep routines to help your child develop healthy sleep habits. Advantages of sleep and disadvantages of too much sleep. Advantages of sleep. Sleep is absolutely essential for our physical and mental health. Here are some of the key benefits. Physical restoration, during sleep, our bodies repair tissues, strengthen muscles, and boost the immune system. Cognitive function, sleep is crucial for memory consolidation, learning, and problem solving. Lack of sleep can lead to difficulty focusing, impaired decision making, and decreased creativity. Emotional well-being, sleep deprivation can worsen symptoms of anxiety and depression. Conversely, good sleep helps regulate emotions and promotes a more positive mood. Physical health, sleep is linked to a reduced risk of chronic health conditions like heart disease, diabetes, and stroke. Improved performance, whether you're an athlete or a student, getting enough sleep enhances focus, reaction time, and overall performance. Disadvantages of too much sleep. While sleep is vital, there can be downsides to excessive sleep. Fatigue. Ironically, sleeping too much can sometimes leave you feeling sluggish and tired. Back pain. Spending too much time in bed can worsen existing back problems. Headaches. Some people experience headaches upon waking up after sleeping excessively. Reduced alertness. Oversleeping can make it hard to wake up and feel fully alert in the morning. Disrupted circadian rhythm, sleeping in too much on weekends can throw off your sleep-wake cycle, making it harder to fall asleep at night during the work week. Finding the balance, most adults need between 7 to 9 hours of sleep per night. Listen to your body's cues and aim for the amount of sleep that leaves you feeling refreshed and energized throughout the day. Lack of sleep also known as sleep deprivation, can have a significant negative impact on both our physical and mental health. Here are some of the key disadvantages. 1. Impairs brain function. When you don't get enough sleep, your brain can't function as well as it should. This can lead to problems with focus, concentration, memory, and decision-making. 2. Increases health risks. 
chronic sleep deprivation has been linked to a number of health problems, including heart disease, stroke, diabetes, and obesity. 3. Weakens immune system. Sleep is essential for a healthy immune system. When you don't get enough sleep, your body is less able to fight off infection. 4. Mood swings. Lack of sleep can make you more irritable, anxious, and depressed. 5. Safety hazards. Drowsiness is a leading cause of car accidents. If you're tired, you're more likely to make mistakes behind the wheel. Long-term consequences. Chronic sleep deprivation can have serious long-term health consequences, so it's important to prioritize healthy sleep habits.